Good afternoon. My name is Tom Kalinowski. I'm the Director of Technology and Operations at Colonial Intermediate Unit 20. Today is February 3rd, 2021. This is Tech Tips number 75. Uh, this is a multi-part series. In the previous series, uh, we uh, started to show you how we're going to use uh, Google Forms to uh, allow for event registration and automatically email people, uh, Zoom links and add to calendar links. In the last episode, we laid the groundwork and created the URLs for the Add to Calendar links. In this episode, we're going to show you how you're going to uh, pull in the Zoom links for each session that the registrant registered for. And we're going to add that to the uh, Google Form Responses sheet. So any of you that might have tried this before uh, know that when you attempt to do something like this, um, your, your data oftentimes gets erased, which is bad, uh, but that's because every time a Google form writes a row to a sheet, it overwrites any data that's in that row. Like even if it's in like, if your data is in column like ZZ, uh, once number two gets written, it's gonna overwrite every piece of data in that row, uh, which is bad. Uh, but luckily we can use array formulas um, to get around that. So the first thing, and this is key, the first thing that you have to do is at least have one submission in your uh, response sheet. Um, that way, uh, that row, uh, which will end up being row two, will already be written to, and then we can put all of our formulas inside of row two. So let's go ahead and uh, do that really quick. So we'll go to our form and go to preview. Okay, and uh, we'll just type in some sample data. Okay, and we're gonna <clears throat> go ahead and we're gonna register for some sessions and we're gonna hit submit. All right, so now we have uh, that data uh, there uh, and we can see that it timestamped it, email name uh, listed each of the sessions, okay. And then uh, Zoom session, one link, all of these fields are uh, blank here, okay? So um, what, and just so this doesn't uh, spill over, let's uh, just truncate each of these so they don't spill over. So if we just highlight all of them and uh, do text wrapping and change that to clip, that way it doesn't spill over. All right, so we want to focus on uh, the session one Zoom link, okay? So the session one that they registered for is career readiness. And um, we need to find the career readiness Zoom link. Um, so remember, uh, we have all of our Zoom links here. Uh, in reality, there would be a lot more uh, than four here. I just put four here for an example. But what we need to find is we need to find career readiness here and then spit out the corresponding Zoom link. Okay, so I've done a lot of uh, the hard work uh, for you here. And again, this will be in the show notes. But what we need is this formula right here. And I'll go over it with you uh, really briefly. So let's go ahead and paste that in here. Okay. Hit enter. All right. So, um, we can see, uh, so it says array formula, if is blank, A2 to A. So it's what it's saying is, if this is blank, uh, where the timestamp is, uh, just don't, don't specify anything there. Um, rather than an error message or anything like that, don't put anything there. But if it's not blank, what we want to do is we want to do what's called a VLOOKUP. And what we're looking for is whatever is in this cell, Okay, that's the D2 to D, meaning it all the way down through here. We're looking for this, and where we're looking for it is in Zoom links A2 to E. So we're looking for that data anywhere from A2 to E all the way down. Okay, and then once we find it, and we would find it right here, okay, we're going to return the second column. Okay. And we want the second column because that, that contains the Zoom link, okay? And uh, what that does is that, that spits out the uh, Zoom link there. So we can uh, give that a quick test here uh, by filling out the form again, 
Okay, so if we go back to our form and we go to preview, okay, type in our email address, our name, okay, and specify these again, and submit. Okay, we'll go back here, okay, and we'll see that again it automatically put that URL in there, which is exactly what we want. Okay. So we want to do this uh, for each of the different sessions. So what we'll do okay, is we'll copy this. Okay. And we're going to go over to our session two Zoom link. And we're going to paste that in there as well. Okay. And just to make sure our uh, formula is copied over correctly, uh, we'll take a look. So is if A to A is blank, so that looks good. Okay. Um, so here, uh, we do need to make a change because right now it's still referencing column D and we don't want it to reference D, we want it to reference E, okay? So we're gonna just go ahead and change those Ds to Es or wherever your uh, second session is, okay? And then it's looking in Zoom links A2 to E, which is, uh, which is still correct. That's where we're looking for the data, okay? And uh, where it says it's returning the uh, second column. And again, uh, that is correct because that would be the uh, link for the, for the second one there. So the only thing we needed to change uh, was uh, change those Ds to Es, which we did. Okay. And uh, that looks good there. So if we do the same thing, we'll go to session three, zoom link, paste that in there. Okay. So a uh, to A, that looks good. Okay. E to I. Um, so let's. Uh, so we want F uh, for session three. Okay. So let's fix that, and that should actually be F uh, F two to F. Okay. And that looks good. Let's just go back to our previous one and make sure we did that one right. Uh, yeah, E2 to E, that's perfect. And then uh, F2 to F, yep, that looks, uh, that looks good. Um, here, uh, though, we can see uh, that it, uh, where we wanted to look at that A2 to E, uh, we do see that that uh, change there. So let's just make that there, A2 to E, there we go. We got that, and we're going to do the last thing for session four. Okay, paste that in there. Okay, and session four, just go back and look. That is in G. Okay, so we're going to say from G2 to G. Okay, and we're going to look in A2 to E. Okay. There we go. So now we have the uh, Zoom links for um, each registration submission uh, every time someone submits. So again, <clears throat> if we do another uh, submission, okay, we'll type in an email address, a name. And again, for, for this example, I, I only specified Zoom links for the first uh, session in uh, each time frame. Uh, so that's why I keep on choosing the first ones, but <clears throat> it'll work just the same for all of the others if you were to go ahead and create uh, the Zoom links for all of the sessions. But let's go ahead and click on Submit. Okay, and we see that it uh, specified uh, everything there, which is great. So what we'll ultimately use that for is uh, putting that in the email, uh, email out to everyone. Okay. Um, so what we're going to do in our uh, next session, or the next video that I do, is show you how you're going to create those add the calendar links uh, for Google O365 and Outlook. So thank you, uh, thank you for your time today. I appreciate it. Uh, make sure to subscribe, uh, hit the subscribe button and the bell at the bottom. That way you'll be alerted as soon as I release some more videos on this. Hope to see you again next time.